Okay, John, could you give us a sense of how this mission was designed, your weather thoughts coming into it, and the scenery coming in over the calving front, that sort of thing? Okay, sounds good. My name is John Sontag. I'm a senior scientist with the ATM team. That's Airborne Topographic Mapper. Today's mission was called the Recovery Offshore One mission, made up of uh, six parallel lines spaced at 20 kilometers. It's called that because we concentrate in the area where the Recovery Glacier, which is a major glacier in this part of East Antarctica, drains into the Filchner Ice Shelf. It tends to be difficult to get measurements to help us understand the shape of the cavity of water, ocean water, beneath the, an ice shelf such as the Filchner, especially a big one like the Filchner. And with our uh, gravity instruments and our radar instruments on board the DC-8, we are able to collect measurements which allow analysts and scientists to, uh, to deduce the shape of those underwater cavities. And that's important because it, by knowing the shape of those cavities, scientists can begin to get at the interaction of these glaciers with warm ocean waters, which it has been determined within the last uh, decade or two by, by the glaciological community that the interaction of these large glaciers and warming ocean waters tends to be quite important in determining their, their future behavior. The weather today was uh, probably not what you would call ideal. We knew that there would be a, a cloud layer between eight and 10,000 feet, and we had a lot of confidence in this particular forecast. So our transit in this morning took us over the southern part of the Antarctic Peninsula uh, and over the, the extreme southern part of the Waddell, just in front of the Ronnie Ice Shelf. And uh, sure enough, most of it was clouded as the models predicted it would be. We saw we could see bits of sea ice uh, surface here and there. But when we made our descent into the Filchner Ice Shelf area, we could see the edge of the ice shelf and the edge of Berkner Island. Uh, it was clear skies there. And when we got on site, we were uh, very pleased to see that the uh, forecast indeed held up with uh, the low sun angle that you get down in these, uh, in these parts. And uh, just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scene. So it went very well today.